All right, everybody. Today I'm going to talk about the set covering problem, also known as SCP or LSCPs for location set covering problem. This is one of the many covering problems. Okay, and um, <clears throat> I'd like to uh, first define what the problem is about. Right, our objective is to try to find a minimum set of facilities. Right, so the objective will actually to be to minimize the number of facilities in a way that every node. Right, every demand node is covered by at least one facility. So it could be by multiple facilities, fine, but at least one. Um, and as input for the problem, we will use the demand nodes, right? Like here, we will use the uh, facilities, uh, like in red. Uh, we would actually know the distance between each facility and each demand node. We can calculate, that's called D, uh, DIJ. Uh, we have another parameter called DC. It's a coverage distance, right? So basically that's the radius, okay? Uh, one uh, set uh, that we will um, uh, extract from the distance is the facilities that are within that uh, coverage uh, threshold. Um, and then the decision variables that we would use would be x sub j is equal to 1 if we locate at j, if we decide to choose a facility at j and zero otherwise, and then one parameter that we can include if we were to decide to include it would be f sub j, which would be the cost associated with opening uh, one of these uh, facilities. So that's sort of the gist of the, the problem. And All right, we are now going to see how we formulate this problem in a generic mathematical term. The objective function here is a minimization. As I told you, we're trying to minimize the number of facilities. Now, x sub j, as I mentioned, this is a decision variable equal to 1 if we locate at j, 0 otherwise. And we're going to sum this up for j belongs to j. The capital J is the set of all the facilities. In our case, in this example, there were only three, right? So that would be x1 plus x2 plus x3 here. Now, this is the constraint. The constraint here says that for each demand node, and that's what it means, this sort of A, right, that is uh, uh, rotated 180 degrees, that means for all I's that belong to the set I. So for all the demand nodes, and there are 13 of them, I'm going to have a constraint. I will show it later on, that there must be at least one facility, right, uh, that, is, um, that is going to cover it. Now, there are cases where we are not going to find a facility, like the case for 13, 10, 7, and 2, where you could not find a facility. So then in that case, we will ignore those. Um, and then the last constraint is basically the integer constraint that says that uh, uh, the facility can either be located or not located. One last twist that is important. I did mention earlier that you could add this parameter here, f sub j. What is this? This could be the cost, right? The cost to build, right? To open uh, a facility, maybe to acquire land for that facility, whatever it is. And so if that's the case, you, you add, add it here. For the simplicity, I will assume that the cost of each facility is the same and is equal to 1, so we will not worry about this now. I'd like to now show you how we are going to uh, work out this entire formula for our little problem here. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to try to work out this equation that I showed earlier. So we know this is a minimization problem. Minimize xA plus xB plus xC. Second, the constraint. For each demand node, we're going to find out which facility can cover that demand node. So the first one would be xA should be greater or equal to 1. For the second one, nothing. So I'm not writing anything. For the third one here, xA should be greater or equal to 1. For the fourth one here, same thing. And if you want, I could here put here. So for the second one, we don't have anything. This is just for the third one. This is just for the fourth one. For the fifth one, the same thing. Okay. For the sixth one, same thing. For the seven one, we don't have any facilities in, in cover, so we are not writing anything. For x8, I'm uh, sorry, for uh, demand node 8, 
here x a plus x b why this because one here for a one for b okay okay for demand node 9 we have x b greater or equal to 1 for demand node 10 we don't have anything right 10 cannot be covered by anything here for 11 we have c x c greater or equal to 1 okay for 12 <coughs> we have x c greater or equal to 1 okay and then for 13 we don't have anything and then finally we have all these integer constraints where we say that x a belongs to 0 1 x b belongs to 0 1 x c belongs to 0 1 all right so this here you know is essentially based on the coverage matrix that we had before and this coverage matrix can easily be um, uh, determined or estimated within a GIS so that's pretty straightforward now that we have this we're going to see how we can solve this problem within CPLEX all right I will briefly show what happened when you try to solve this problem within CPLEX I've written the problem here to your left of the screen it's a minimization problem we have three facilities we decide to locate subject to the constraints so these are the same that I wrote on the blackboard here before and then I make x a x b and x c binaries okay so I save this SCP September 21st which is here I have opened cplex I read the text file here I can drag it write down the entire path and I write LP because it's a linear programming file and then I will optimize it or OPT whatever you prefer and it will tell me that there is one solution that is saved the objective is equal to 3 and now I can see the solutions display solution variables and all of them and it tells me that all the variables XA, XP, and XC are selected right here. 